From the exterior design to inner values, Dr. Sasha Page, design of Mercedes-Benz vans, has information on efficiency. A lot has been done regarding the engines and the optimization of parts, components and ancillary units. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I'm in the center of the design engineering department of Mercedes-Benz Vans, here at the engine test stand 3027, here in our research labs and workshops, and on our worldwide test tracks, we have worked intensively in the power transmission of the new Sprinter. I think the result is a result that is nothing to sneeze at. As a first van, the new Sprinter comes up with a complete Euro 6 engine range, and that means, that is a good tradition at Daimler, we fulfill the legal requirements early. Though not yet a legal requirement, we launch the Euro 6 fleet this year already. We're pioneer, and as far as the consumption values and CO2 emissions are concerned, we managed to turn the Sprinter into a passenger car. Excellent 6.3 liters at 100 kilometers in combined consumption with CO2 emission of 165 grams per kilometer. These are top values in its segment. A success of our design engineers who have optimized the entire power transmission of the new Sprinter. We have exhaust gas after treatment, which has proven in hundreds of thousands of commercial vehicles of Mercedes-Benz and in many, many million kilometers. I mean, the SCR technology with Bluetech engine technology and injection of AdBlue into the exhaust gas. This is how the NOx emissions can clearly be reduced. The engines themselves, in their main characteristics, are unchanged, and also the performance is the same, and that is a good thing. In many fleets, in the future, Euro 5 and Euro 6 sprinters will be used in common. When the driver changes vehicles, the driver will not feel a difference. The new efficient Euro 6 engines are available as diesel engines and gasoline engines in six different variants. In the center of the diesel engines is the OM651 with 2.14 liters cubic capacity. We offer it in three performance categories with 70, 95 and 120 kilowatts. In addition, we'll launch the OM642, a six-cylinder high-performance engine with 140 kilowatts. The gasoline version is an M271 with 115 kilowatts, which has already proven in many different Mercedes-Benz models. Based on the M271 is also a natural gas variant for the Sprinter NGT with the same performance level. To increase the efficiency in the new Sprinter, we do not only use the engine technology. In addition, we have PTOs and more components that are trimmed to top efficiency, beginning with the alternate continuing with the manual transmission and reaching the low rolling resistance wheels. We have lowered the vehicle by up to 30 millimeters and that can be felt in fuel efficiency and steering position. These are improvements down to the very smallest details which make the new Sprinter the most efficient Sprinter of all times. Ladies and gentlemen, in the past months I have experienced the intensive tests with the new Sprinter. It has proven its excellent efficiency and reliability. All in all, the new Sprinter has passed 8 million test kilometers successfully, including tough tests at the customers. And it passed all the tests brilliantly. I am looking forward to taking it on the road now. To me, it's not so new anymore. To me, the new Sprinter is long, has long been a proven one. Thank you very much, Dr. Pasha. Ladies and gentlemen, there's been a lot of information on the new Sprinter. More details and explanations on the technical innovations can be found in our press release. As I mentioned earlier, the press release is available on the Daimler Media, Media site for you to download.